Uh, also, another question. Because there, there, are, there are employees na, na required by their companies to repro- report to work. Um, are these companies required to provide for the accommodation of a of the employees who they require to go to the office uh, within this time of enhanced community quarantine? Is there a requirement from the Department of Labor and Employment regarding this one? Um, I think, Doc Tess, no? the, the uh, task force directive is that if you are a uh, company falling under those that are allowed to operate, then number one, you provide the uh, accommodations nearby but uh, alam mo ang feedback namin dyan medyo mahirap uh, we've seen the economic zones kakandahirap kasi medyo close yung kailangan mo rin pa rin i-observe yung distancing and uh, we're also hearing feedback that it's more expensive the other one is you provide transportation for them uh, Pero, Dr. Tess, ang pinaka-viable na directive is that you provide company. Uh, for those that are required, company provides uh, housing or accommodation? Yes. Dr. Tess. An accommodation po, nearby. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes. That's the uh, ano. It, they should be providing nearby accommodation so that, you know, it, the, the fact that they will still go home and then there will still more, yeah. you know, the... That, that is what they are trying to avoid. And it's yes. a skeletal workforce anyway. They are really trying to cut down for a skeletal workforce and to, to implement proper social distancing. Then the company should provide that accommodation. They should try to find uh, uh, at least some place nearby so that the workers can go. and Or if not, a shuttle. But again, within. They cannot like shuttle all you know from, from their residences. No, that's not also the point. The point is... If it cannot be a nearby, but somewhere close, then shuttle services should still be provided by the company. So uh, these are, but if your workers are very close by and there might be checkpoints, the, um, actually the DTI is the one spearheading it because they're not providing IDs for these workers so that they will not be, it's not difficult for them to go through the checkpoints. Yes, uh, ASIC test, because we also heard some some um, of our friends who are still required to go to work um, during this time of enhanced community quarantine. Um, the challenge is also that uh, posed by the checkpoints. No, Say, for example, if other office is in a one, one town or one city, away from their houses of residence, medyo nahirapan silang um, mag-travel. And so if, if the company does not provide for an accommodation, you mentioned dapat meron silang um, allowance or meron silang provision on the transportation of these employees. Is that correct, uh, Dr. Tess, ASIC Tess? Ganito yun. Um, actually, the, the shuttle service is for... If you're nearby and they still need to shuttle workers, but these are the skeletal force workers, workforce. But that's why they're trying to, I mean, what the, I, the um, interagency was really looking at is an accommod- accommodation nearby. But if there are going to be, and this should really be very limited to not workers going in like from one town to another to enter mm-hmm. their company, because that's not the, that's not what, the you know it, it this is not the arrangement because that's why workers are coming from that town they should stay there already and find and the work the the uh, company should find a place for them but for example for managers that may need to go there and they're part of the skeletal then an id is issued for these workers skeletal workers skeletal workforce 